What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are having some fun with this off meta team for the Master Tier that features Swift Swim Floatzel, Choice Band Garchomp, and Magnezone. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way and it helps me grow as a content creator. So I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But we get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Pelipper. I love this Pokemon, one of the best range setters in the game due to its drizzle ability. And then we gave it the Focus Satch as its item. Move set is pretty solid with Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Tailwind, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be that Garchomp, but not just any Garchomp. This one is going to be Choice Band Garchomp to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. It has Rough Skin as its ability, and the four moves consist of Dragon Claw, Stone Edge, Poison Jab, and Earthquake. Third Pokemon is going to be Magazine. Have not used this Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet just yet, up until now, but uh, Magazine is such a cool Pokemon. It's got Electric and Steel Typing, and its design is absolutely amazing. It's got Magnet Pull as its ability, the Air Balloon as its item, and then it's got Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Thunder, and Terror Blast for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be a support Pokemon for its team, and actually, it is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I don't know why, I always love this jingly key Pokemon. We got Klefki right here. It's got Prankster as its ability, the Leftovers as its item, and then it's got Thunder Wave, Foul Play, Protect, and Trick Room. Bottom left hand corner is going to be that Float Soul, pairs up perfectly with the Pelipper due to its Swift Swim ability, and the Life Orb as its item. It's got Aqua Jet for first turn priority, Liquidation for Stab, Wave Crash for heavy stab damage, and Ice Fang for its coverage move. Final Pokemon is going to be Arcanine. Really cannot go wrong with Arcanine in this game. Super strong all around, and it learns great moves. It has Intimidate as its ability, the Aqua Berry as its item, and it's Rack and Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Protect, and Snarl for its moveset. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Swift Slim Floatzel, Choice Band Garchomp, and Magnezone team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a pretty meta team with Amoongus, Golden Go, Miascarada, and then Hydreigon, Dragapult for that double dragon, and Gargleknack for its final Pokemon. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I feel like the Rain Squad could really work well for us, right? We got the Swift Swim Floatzel, we got the Pelipper. I think it works perfectly in this situation. We got Ice Moves to cover for the Dragons. We have Water Moves that are going to hit hard onto pretty much all these Pokemon, except for the Moongus, but we have Hurricane on Pelipper, which I really, really like. So I think this lead is perfect. We're going to bring Choice Band Garchomp for back end support. And then last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards Magnezone here. A Pokemon that I do have to watch out for going up against is going to be that uh, Gargleknack. And I feel like we need Pelipper for that. So if I have a chance to swap out Pelipper, if Gargle knocks down on the field, I think I'm going to want to do that. So yeah, I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Actually, he's going to leave me out of isn't he? Definitely, definitely a possibility. Do I just bring Floatzel in the back end and maybe leave Garchomp? Because Garchomp wouldn't be bad here. Garchomp would not be bad. I can freely EQ too. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I feel like the, the what's called is just way too predictable. The, the Floatzel Pelper is just way too predictable. So we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to set the rain turn one. Try to get Floatzel out there when one of my Pokemon die out. Or I can swap him in. And we kind of just go from there. Because like I said, I'm probably going to need my Pelper to take out the Gargle Neck. Probably going to need it. Probably going to need it. But yeah, let's see how this team actually works out. Hopefully we can have some fun with it. More importantly, grab some wins for you guys. But our opponent's going to lead Hydreigon and Miyazaki. So good thing I did not lead that Floatzel. A little quick swap at the end. Thought a little bit. And we're going to go into the Chomp of the Gars. So from here, uh, what can I do from here? I might tear it into Steel. I obviously want to just Hurricane right into you. Or I could set up a Tailwind and just Sash up. That wouldn't be bad to set up a Tailwind this turn. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do it. And I could Terrasilize here if I want to. I kind of do want to. But I can deal with the Hydreigon later. I'm really not worried about the Hydreigon too much. I'm more so worried about this Masquerada. But I think I'm just going to... Hmm, do I choice into Poison Jab here? Or do I choice into like move like Dragon Claw and get that stab value on here? I could I could Terrasize Poppy Q as well. I'm just gonna straight up Terrasize. I'm just gonna go into a Dragon Claw into the slot. I'm gonna choice into Dragon Claw. I think I'd rather do that more more so than the Poison Jab. So he's gonna end up Terrasize and probably his Hydreigon, correct? Yeah, probably into a Steel type. No, they're all going into uh, Poison types as of recently. I feel like I, I, I only see three different types of uh, Hydreigons, either Poison, Fire, or Steel. But we're going to Terrasilize as well here. I probably still should have just Dragon Called into that slot, but he didn't, he didn't want that happening. 
I'm gonna try slides in the ground. I'm not popping EQs, but I'm just trash slashing just so dragon moves aren't super effective. But grass moves are still super effective. That is looking a little scary. Let's see what Miyasuke Rada goes for. He goes for a knockoff. Probably gonna take off my focus ash. I know you're gonna go after me. Take off my choice band. Okay. I'm not banded anymore. Rough skin does hurt the Miyasuke Rada, so if it did have sash, we could take it out. And this thing's setting up a tailwind. So I'm setting up a tailwind as well. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We're going tailwind for tailwind. Can Dragon Call KO? Does not. If we had that choice banned, we would have been able to KO. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul that we didn't KO there. So now we have Tailwind set up. Uh, I could just go straight for Hydro Pump. Probably my play, correct? Hopefully that. Hopefully it lands. That'd be awesome if it can land. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna pop a Dragon Call in this slot. We're gonna go from there. I still have my Focus Edge, which is solid. Flower Tricks can come out here. That is gonna pick up a KO. I want the my Guard Chomp. Now I can bring out my 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 uh, what is that Pokemon? My Floyd Soul. But now I have Floyd Soul, I can freely Aqua Jet straight into that, that Miyasuke Rada. Try to get rid of that. And then go from there. Plus, we can see how much damage Hydro Pump can do. Let's see if she's going to go for a Snarl. And my boy Paloops with the big time dodge. Popping a Hydro Pump, which is connecting. Getting off some nice damage. Oh, pa Paloops. Paloops. My boy Pelipper. Getting the crit. I love you. I'm in love. I'm in love. Let me take you out for a date, Pelipper. You deserve it. You deserve it. Woo. Pelipper. I love Pelipper, man. I absolutely love Pelipper. Before, like, I started getting into, into competitive, I didn't really like Pelipper or anything. Or I didn't even like its design. But ever since I started getting into competitive, I love everything about Pelipper. One of my favorite Pokemon. Absolutely love this Pokemon. He's going to go into Gargonac. I'm going to go into Floyd's I can freely Aqua Jet down into the Miyasuke Rana slot. And I'm just going to go for another Hydro Pump right in this slot. You cannot change typings. We can just get after it that way. I'm all about it. Yo, look how much damage Wave Crash does. 120? Oh, 120 stab. So 180 plus rain boost. Plus rain boost. But we're just going to Aqua Jet just so we get that uh, speed control. And we're going to take out the Miyasuke Rider. We're not dealing with that Pokemon. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Pelper should outspeed. Can you land his Hydro Pump again? I would love you. Pelper. It's okay, Pelper. It's okay. It's okay. You're going to get Salt Cured. It's okay. It's okay. You should be able to eat up one Salt Cure, correct? Yeah, okay. Cool. Good work, Pelper. So Pelper's able to eat that up. I'm just going to keep going for Hydro Pumps into that slot. Let's try to get rid of it because we can eat up another Salt Cure. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Hydro Pump and I'll probably just Wave Crash in this Golden Go slot. Oh, yeah. We're Wave Crash. We're getting rid of this Pokemon. You're getting rid of you. You're getting rid of you. So, yeah. Hydro Pump coming out here. Wave Crash coming in hot. When I say hot, I mean hot. It's coming in hot here. Protects him come out from Golden Go. That's totally fine. I think he's just trying to waste out main turns, possibly. And again, if Hydro Pump lands, that, that Cargo Neck should be dead. Good, Pelper. You don't miss two. You don't miss two. You don't miss two. Pelper, bro. You got the date, and now you don't just want to just wanna stop doing everything? Pelper, you're better than that. You were so much better than that. You're so much better than that, Pelper. Give me another turn of rain. I need another turn of rain. Bro, don't, don't tell me I'm losing these Miss Hydro Pumps. Tailwind's gone. His Tailwind's gone. I think Rain's gone too, right? No, we have another turn of Rain. That's huge. That's huge. All right. We're back at it. We're going for this Wave Crash. We're going for this Hydro Pump. Let's see what he does. Wave Crash coming in hot here. This should KO. Right, this should KO. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pelper, take us home. Take us home. Come on, Pelper. Come on, Pelper. Take us home. Take us home. I died to all that, but yo, take us home, Pelper. Just take us home. Take us home. Bro, bro, we just lost. I think we just lost. I think we just lost. I'm almost positive we just lost. We missed three hydro bumps? I don't think we can kill this thing. Mag zone, you have flash cannon. You have flash cannon. You indeed have flash cannon. You are special attacking. But body press is scaring me. Body press is scaring me. Magnezone, let's clutch it up, dog. Let's clutch it up. Flash cannon coming in hot. How much damage are we really going to do with flash cannon? I mean, we have a chance of getting special defense drop. But I really missed three. Can this do more than half? Oh, yeah, Magnezone. Oh, yeah, Magnezone. Let's go. Okay. Luckily, I had this Pokemon in the back end. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If not, yo, Pelipper would have been off the team. We would have cut him right here, right then. Right then and now. It used up all of its power to take out that Hydreigon, which we really needed. 
but it just could not land another hydro pump. I was like, yo, what is going on here? We just simply could not land another hydro pump. We'll drop another flash cannon. We're gonna say GG's. Thank God we have Magazine in the back end. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and O to get this video started. Second match coming at you guys, and if I would have lost that first battle, it would have been a tough, it would have been a tough little show. It would have definitely been a tough show because we dominated that and I almost lost it to three Miss Hydro Pumps, but it's all good. I got my boy Maggie Stone out in the back end to finish up that battle and grab ourselves that win. But we're hopping into our second one, going up against a really cool team. We got the Grimmsnarl, the Miascarada, Garchomp, Kilowatchel, Skelly Dirge, and last but not least, Annihilate, who I don't like going up against, but we're going to have to go up against it. And I might go Klefki this lead. If we have foul play on that, we can paralyze Pokemon as well. I'm really liking it all around. So I'm going to go Klefki turn one. And who should I go turn two? I could go Pelper turn, turn two. Pelper's really not that bad considering it has Hurricane. It's going to land a ton of times in the uh, in the rain. And we'll just go from there. So then Floatzel's going to come in as our third spot. And then final spot either goes to Garchomp or Magnezone. I'm kind of leaning a bit more towards Garchomp. Because if I can get rid of the Kilowattle, EQ can do a lot of damage on a lot of these Pokemon. I'm really liking Garchomp. Plus, its speed's rather decent, right? Let me see your speed. Oh, yeah. 154, we're maxed out on it. Is it Jolly? It's relaxed. Okay, that's 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 okay. Actually, no, it's uh, it's adamant. It's uh, it has an HM on it. Okay, I'm with Garchomp. I'm still with Garchomp. I don't really want to bring in Arcanine just due to the fact is uh, he has uh, Defiant Annihilate, but I don't feel like dealing with that. So, I'm not about it. I'm not about it. I'm not about, but Skelly Dirge is actually really good. It's actually like making like a like a run for the best starter in this game because Miyashiro is really strong, but unaware Skelly Dirge really goes under the radar. Super, super good. Super powerful. Super good moveset, and his terror type in the grass is phenomenal. Let's see. It goes Skelly Dirge. Long side with Kilowattro. Uh, I don't mind. I get rain set up here. Uh, I'm going to pop a Hurricane into the Skelly Dirge. I can 100% see the Skelly Dirge terrestrializing in the grass here. So, and I'm just going to pop a Trick Room. I am just going to pop a Trick Room. I think he sets up a Tailwind here, correct? It makes the most sense to set up a Tailwind. Actually, it might just go for Thunderbolt. I don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna set up a Trick Room. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make a hard read at this thing to rasslize in the grass. That's gonna be my play all day. He might just hit me with an electric move, but we'll see. I do have focus ash regardless, so I'm cool with that. Look at this read, look at this read. Show me the grass. Show me the grass. Show me the grass, baby. Give it to me. Give it to me. Hurricane coming in hot. Coming in hot. Go for Tailwind too. This would be an amazing first turn if this thing goes for a Tailwind. Oh my god. I, I might be the best Pokemon player on planet Earth. On planet Earth. On planet Earth. Look at these plays. Look at these reads. He's going to Torch Song me. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to eat that all day. Go ahead. Take your boost. Take your boost. We just, we just read your exact turn right there. We just read your turn. We just read you. We just read you. Go home. Go home. Trick room out and about. It's out and about. We're not playing around. You're going to protect your Skelly Dirge probably. Right? Probably protect your Skelly Dirge this turn and drop a Thunderbolt. And if that's the case, I think you are going to do that. I'm just going to go into a foul point into you. And I'm going to hurricane into you as well. Or I could just hide your pump. I'm going to hide your pump. You're protecting Skelly. Or withdrawing. That's fine. That's fine. We know what you're doing. We have you unlocked. We're going straight after Kilowattle now. We're going straight after your Kilowattle. Foul play coming in hot here. Bill chipping up some damage. Probably taking off Focus Ash. And Hydro Pump connecting. Yo, get it on out of here. Oh my lord. Yo, come on. If you haven't liked this video yet, get down there. Hit that like button. We are playing out of our minds right now. Out of our minds. Beautiful, beautiful trick and uh, turn from us. And beautiful read on that Thrasilization. It's funny how we were just talking about uh, Skelly Dirge being so good with this uh, Terra type being grass, and then he let it. I was like, wait a minute, we can actually thrive out with this. But from here, I can just go into Battle Play into you, and just a uh, straight Hurricane into you. He's gonna protect. That's fine. You're gonna go after my Pelper. My Pelper has Focus Ash, and then we can outspeed next turn. Battle Play coming in up against you, doing a nice little chunk of damage there. Upskin's gonna hurt us, and what's Garchomp going for? Probably taking out my Klefki. You taking out my keys, my jingly keys? Please don't touch my jingly keys. Don't touch my jingly keys. Jingly keys eats that up all day. We're going for another hurricane. He's not going to swap. He's just going to take this damage. And I might double down into Annihilate here. I think getting rid of Annihilate is going to be very powerful for us. That's what I'm going to do. Especially because he can protect the uh, T-Tar. 
Or not the T Tar, the Garchomp. So I'm just gonna double down on Annihilate. Show me he's protecting Garchomp. Give it to me. Give me the protect. We're playing way too well right now. Give me the protect. Yo, look at my jingly keys just floating. <laughs> just chilling there, swaying back and forth. Jingly keys, Klefki. Loving it. Does not protect the chomp, but we're going after this uh, Annihilate right now. And hopefully this can KO. This can get some big time damage. Oh, dude, Pelipper. I'm in love with Pelipper. I'm in love with Pelipper. This Pokemon's way too good. He's going to drop another Rock Slide. He's going to get rid of my Pelipper now. Sad day for the Pelipper. And what do we do here? I mean, how many turns left in rain? That's the real question. Probably one more. Probably one more. Do I keep it in there just so I can Aqua Jet that uh, Garchomp? I mean, their Tailwind's gone, so now Trick Room is just in full effect. Uh, I think I still have Terra, right? I do still have Terra, and I'm going to see... Actually... What do I do here? I think I'm just going to go... I think I'm just going to pop EQs, right? That might play to pop EQs. I don't want to throw Outsize in the ground. I think we just pop straight EQs. And we Thunder Wave Skelly Dirge. I mean, no, Trick Room's still here. Hmm. Let me see the turns on everything. Let me see the turns on everything. Trick Room has one turn. Rain has one turn. Oh! oh. You should go first, Klefki. Wait, let me see your speed, Klefki. Oh yeah, Klefki. Let me see your speed. Speed's 95. Yeah, you go first over Garchomp. And then I think we just choice to an EQ. Even though it's going to be not very effective, I don't mind taking out my Klefki after his foul play comes through. Foul play doesn't KO. Terra Blast's going to fly here. What are you going after? Probably my Garchomp, right? You should be able to soak that Garchomp. Yeah, can you go before that Garchomp? Or is it going to be speed die? Okay, cool. We go before that Garchomp. That pretty much just solidifies the battle, right? Takes out Skelly. Oh, double kill. Choice ban EQ. Oh, wow. That's powerful. That is powerful. We took out everything on the field. Klefki, Garchomp, and Skelly Dirge. <laughs> Just absolutely ripped into everything. And we didn't even Terra there. And the reason I didn't Terra there was because we knew he was going for the grass move. And he would have just KO'd my Garchomp. So, beautiful plays from us. Amazing second battle. Absolutely outplaying our opponent. Now we get up to that third and look for a perfect record. Final battle, let's keep it rolling. We're absolutely killing it on the rank ladder today. Going up against a pretty strong meta team with Golden Go, Murkrow, Hajigan, Annihilate, and then last but not least, he has Armor Rouge and uh, Dragonite. How should I play this one? I could go into Flutzel and Pelper. I mean, he'll probably set up a Tailwind with Murkrow and kind of go from there. So maybe do I really want the Flutzel as a lead? I definitely want Pelper as a lead. Pelper has been killing it all day today. Great Tailwind setter. I'm going to go Pelper. Or I can set up a Trick Room with Klefki and read another Tailwind. That wouldn't be bad. That would not be bad. I don't really mind that either. Don't mind that. Do I go Klefki again? Huh. I don't want to bring an Arcanine. We're not going to see Arcanine in today's video. But you guys really know what Arcanine does. Um, It's either Pelper or Klefki. And then, then, then the rest are going to be the, the other four, right? I think we're going to go Pelper again. I mean, Pelper's just killing it today. He's killing it today. There's no reason for us not to bring in Pelper, right? Do I lead Magnuson? I might want to lead Magnuson. Yeah, we're going to lead Magnuson. We're going to get one with Magnuson. We're going to bring Floatzel, and then we are going to go in with the Chompsky. So, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three. Actually, look for a perfect record. Because I don't think I ever played as good as I did in match number two. Match number two was probably my best battle in all of Scarlet and Violet so far. Just out reading our opponent, out playing it. We read that that turn one. We read the Thrasization, popped the Hurricane in that, and then we read the Tailwind and popped the Trick Room on top of that. Probably one of the best two turns ever. Not ever, like you guys know. I was saying I'm the best Pokemon player on Earth. Obviously I'm not, but I just like to hype myself up every once in a while. <laughs> every once in a while when I make a good play. Gotta hype myself up. Let's see, he went to Annihilate and Golden Go. Golden Go cannot swap out, which is really good for us because we have the Magnet Pool ability on Magnuson, and that makes Steel-type Pokemon from pulling away or fleeing. Awesome. So Golden Go is not allowed to swap out. I mean, Hurricane seems free into the slot, and then I think we just probably drop a Thunder right here. It's 100% accuracy. We might as well launch it into the Golden Go. They might Terrasize here, especially the Annihilate, I feel like. I feel like Annihilate passed, though. Let's just go on for a, uh, what is it, a Gambit? 
I mean, I wouldn't mind if you go for a Gambit. I don't think it's a bad turn if he goes for Gambit. Let's see, he's going to U-turn Pivot. Okay, U-turn Pivot. We are dropping a Hurricane into that slot. So I wonder what Pokemon you are going to go into. I do wonder. I could have popped the Tailwind. Probably should have popped the Tailwind there. Took full blown speed control, but I feel like Mercury is probably going to come out here. Is it the Mercs? It is the Mercs. Mercs does come out here. Oh, I should have popped the Thunderbolt in that slot. Give me the Ducks. Give me the Ducks. No Ducks. Thunder flies out here. Can I get a Paralyze? And wow, Thunder looks awesome. Looks so dope. Thunderbolt's coming here. Okay, you're dead. Definitely should pop the Tailwind. So now he's going to get full blown speed control. Ah! Uh, what do I go into from here? Hmm. Let's go straight into Floatzel. I mean, if I Thrasilize Floatzel and start popping Aqua Jets, I think that's just a top tier play. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take out the Golden Go with an Aqua Jet, and then I'm going to go into a Thunderbolt to take out the Murkrow. Yeah, Thrasilize, Aqua Jet, because Aqua Jet now is base 80 with Rain Boost. It's legit like a liquidation, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Because when he Thrasilize, it gets times two because we already have Stab on top of that. We're already Water type. And then we're in the range. So we get that. I think it's 1.3? Or is it 1.5? I think it's 1.3 times multiplier. Plus Life Orb. And Life Orb is 1.3. Wow, yeah. We're going to say bye-bye to Golden Go. And then from here, we're just going to drop a Thunder. Thunder's 100% accuracy in the rain. So he might as well drop it over Thunderbolt. Yeah, I don't think we're sending it in a bad spot. But this battle is definitely going to be close. He did get rid of my boy Pelipper. My poor little Pelipper. So we'll, we'll obviously see a Tailwind come out from him. Like, we already know that's coming. If not, that's, that's huge for us. We go for Aqua Jet. We're going to say bye-bye to you. See you later. Keep going. And hopefully this thing's not going for Tailwind. It's got to be going for Tailwind, right? If it's not, that is lovely. Yeah, okay, there's Tailwind. So that might be the... The, the the worst thing for us would be that Tailwind setting up. But I don't think we're sitting too bad. Again, we have Aqua Jet with first turn priority and we can rip with Floatzel. Floatzel hits hard. It hits hard. Hits real hard. So we'll see his final two Pokemon. Annihilate, we already knew that one. And then this little thing's gonna come out here. What is this thing? Hydreigon. Okay, so Hydreigon comes out here. I do have Garchomp. If I could survive a shot, Garchomp can get some work done. But we need to waste out Tailwind. I definitely want to pop an Aqua Jet into you. And I might want to double down into an I think I am going to double down into an Annihilate and hope it doesn't protect. Because I can see uh, what's called Thrasilize and Hydreigon. Definitely going to Thrasilize, right? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Hydreigon protects. Wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. This is be a huge turn for us. This is going to be a huge turn from us. Hydreigon protects her. Aqua Jet coming in hot here. Doing some oh, half damage. That's huge. That is huge half damage. He's going to go for close combat. That's going to KO me. He's going to protect the Annihilate next turn, correct? Because Annihilate's dead. Do we have to Aqua Jet into that? I feel like we have to, right? I feel like we have to, right? I got to take my time thinking about this. This could be battle. We have Garchomp. They have speed. We have no protection on a Pokemon. If we Aqua Jet and they protect, then he's going to take out my Garchomp, right? Hmm. I, we Aqua Jet and he protects, he wins the game. But if we read to protect, oh, this is too, this is too much. Too much for me to handle. This is too much for me to handle. Yeah, because then he takes out my, my guard top in one turn, turns to a 2v1, and we pretty much lose that all day long. He's getting a speed. I'm trying to remember if he protected turn one. Because who did he lead? He let, he let Annihilate and... Let's check his Pokemon. He let Annihilate and Golden go. And did he just swap Annihilate? I think he just swapped into Murkrow. Or did he protect that first turn? It might be choice. It might be choice. I'm gonna Aqua Jet into it. I wish I. I wish I could remember. Honest God, I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember if that thing protected or not. So he's getting Rasslize. Rasslization coming out here from from you. Probably steal. What are you going for? Yes, yeah, steal. Dang, I'm choosing to a Dragon Claw now. 
choice to a dragon claw. I definitely need my aqua jet. Cool. Please don't protect and annihilate. That's not cool. Cool, cool, cool. So aqua jet goes down. It's going to take out this annihilate. Annihilate, no problem. And what's it going for? If he takes out my uh my floats, that's GG's. Let's see. Are you taking out my floats? So leave my floats alone. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. If Tailwind ends and we have another turn of rain, I can wave crash and finish this battle off. No problem. Bounce coming down to the wire. No, you still have Tailwind? How dare you? Wait a minute. I'm Swift Swim, though. I'm double speed. Your Tailwind might not matter. In the rain? Let me see your speed. What's your speed for it? So what's your normal speed set? You should be faster. I'm wave crashing. You should be faster. Plain out faster. I'm going for the wave crash for the win. You should be faster. He protected wasted out the rain. Oh, you're still faster, but you wasted out the rain. You're still faster, but you wasted out the rain. And I still feel like your wave crash can do enough damage, right? Even without the rain. You should still be faster. You're 167. I think that's faster than most Hydreons. And Wave Rash, I feel like still should be able to do enough damage. 120 base uh, power, plus stab, plus terrestrialization goes up to 240, plus life orb on top of that. Should be able to do a killer amount of damage. Wave Crash coming in hot for the perfect record. Give it to me, Floatzel. Let's go, Floatzel. Floatzel, I love yo. I love rain. I just love the weather Pokemon. Super crazy strong. Floatzel with Wave Crash is definitely OP. Hits like an absolute truck and just takes out Pokemon left and right. Absolutely dominated with today's team. I was feeling good, and I think I played my best Pokemon competitive I've ever played. I was dominating today's battles, making some good reads, making some good plays, bringing in the perfect Pokemon at the perfect situations, and just outplaying all three of our opponents. But Floatzel and Pelipper, obviously MVPs for today's video. Amazing Pokemon in the rain. Once you get them going, it's pretty much unstoppable. You have the Magazone, you have the Klefki, you have the Garchomp. Did not get to showcase the Arcanine day, but again, you guys already know what Arcanine does. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.